Dad? Son? At least now we have a plan. Right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on, just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be... somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. How'd you get the calcium carbonate? By grinding up every seashell on the beach. But I fear it's still not enough. Where can I get more calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one more shell, that would help. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. What's the acidity of that compound spoon? The mixture has a pH balance of six, exactly. We need to get it to seven, exactly. That way leads to the big ladder off this cloud. Looks like it's hatching season. But I was just trying to take care of my family. Oh man, this place is no more dangerous than one of my fake missions. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Don't see anything there I want to eat. You guys need a spoon for anything? No thanks. I have my one spoon back home. It's the only one I use. Oh, did you hear that loyalty? I think I'm going to cry. You guys need a spoon for anything? No thanks. Hi, my name's Shay. I'm from... out of town. Me too. I'm from Sugar Bunting. My name's Husker. This here is Walter. Walter. Sticking with that, are you? Did you say your name was Walter or Walt Er? My name was lightened to Walt Er by Harmony Lightbeard. <laughs> It's not a cult thing. It is a cult thing. No, wait. It's not a cult thing. Quit confusing me. <laughs> oh, you mean that pack rat on that pile of junk back there? Um, pack rat? Yeah. Turns out he was hiding this amazing mountain of trash under the fake cloud covering. Darn it. I knew it. You did? Well, I mean, there were signs, and one day it hit me. An epiphany. No. A license plate fell on my head when I was walking under his cloud, but I just didn't want to admit it to my family after making them all move up here. I am the worst father in the world. Did you willingly give up your own daughter as a sacrifice to save a town that didn't deserve her? No. Then you're doing all right, Walt. Have you guys seen a giant monster flying by here? Some people call him Mog Chathra. Not since he came to my village to destroy it. My daughter, Bella, fought him off. Can you believe it? She was so brave. She taught us all a lesson that day. 
Your town wouldn't happen to be named Danger System 5, would it? <laughs> no, I think I mentioned I'm from Sugar Bunting. What kind of name is Danger System 5? Sounds like something from a kid's action program. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Something to entertain little kids, maybe. <clears throat> What's this little hut for? It's my wife's cloud shoe business. She was working hard to make money, while well, I just worked on giving it away. She's run off now, and I have no idea where. I think I might have seen your wife. Really? Where? Don't tell him. You know what, Walter? When she's ready to come back, she'll find you, okay? <sighs> You're right. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Shay. Do you know this girl? Oh, I see you got one of our flyers. We're spreading them all around, hoping to find out where she went after she landed here. I told you everything I know. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Hey, Spoon, can you balance an egg? Yes, Commander, but only small ones, I'm afraid. Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys. Quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. That egg looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should... Uh-oh. Oh! Ow. You better not move it. I don't want to cheat. There's a tree. That away, it appears. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Take us! Take us down! We are in our prime! Eat our sweet rewards! Wait, wait, wait. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, that's a little... Eat our sacred... How about we just skip that line? Okay. We'll return in time. Let our child rise. Rotten bed, up from a hidden pit, long after we are dead. Wait, are we speaking as us worshipping the fruit? I thought we were the fruit, worshipping the tree. Maybe we're the child, or the rotten bed. You know what part of this story I really feel like, Dawn? You guys want to worship my spoon? He's pretty smart. Hey, we don't just worship every shiny object that passes by, you know. But if this tree thing doesn't work out, I'd give it a shot. You could certainly do worse. What, Courtney? The pits. Oh, don't see anything Courtney, there I want to too. eat. <sighs> Come on. Fake it till you make it, girlfriend. That's what we've always said. Sacred leaves fall upon us. Or the... Hey! That is one big tree. The biggest. Oh, I don't think so. The wisest. Mm, hard to prove. Hey, are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to you? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. Are you guys looking for a tree to talk to? Because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh, no thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is. The answer. That was really convincing, Courtney. Thanks. 
I did the pause just like you said. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former dead-eyed druids. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the Tree of Answers. Why do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But apparently he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit. And since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. Just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle. Too many questions. This is a matter of faith. Also, we really need this to work because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, we're kind of at the end of our ropes. I'll be back. Yeah, that's what the Dead Eye God said. Uh.